Hey guys, it's Matt. I wanted to give you a quick update on what we're doing with the Verado right now. The uh, final tweaks we're trying to make before we send these things over to the production side to uh, have these things produced and sent out to all the uh, people who pre-ordered them through Kickstarter. So uh, some of the minor things here, we've got a, uh, a steel bracket up here now that uh, is water jet cut and then bent at 90 degrees so that uh, when you bolt on your handlebars you're actually also able to bolt on this section of the wiring harness that holds all the connections for your brake lever and for your, uh, your throttle, throttle uh, signal connection. Uh, we're actually in the next couple days going to be um, taking our first stab at cutting holes in uh, the actual main frame member to run all the, the power cables through the frame all the way back to the battery so that it'll uh, just be a little bit cleaner, won't have quite as many zip ties everywhere. Um, That'll, that'll be nice. Uh, one of the big things that we're working on right now, though, is uh, trying a different fork. So it's made by the same manufacturer as the one that's on here, but one issue that we've had is um, when you will be on the throttle hard or you'll slam to a stop, uh, the axle will actually move a little bit, and you can feel that with your, uh, with your feet on the pegs. It's just a little bit unsettling. So uh, we're, we're tackling a potential solution to that. Here is the current fork that we've been using, and this is actually the jig fork, so it's pretty beat up. But you can see in this dropout here, you have a, a slot that then widens up into a larger hole. And the slot's the right size for the axle, but this hole is a little bit too big and it allows it to uh, wrap around a little bit. Now, we do have a retaining washer that fits into this hole further up on the dropout that can also provide some uh, Anti, uh, anti torsion, but this is the hole that we have to drill ourselves, and you know, quality control on something like that that we have to go do by hand every time is not always going to be the greatest thing in the world. So, uh, what we've been experimenting with, and we'll probably have the first strike put together with this, is a fork that just has the slot one size all the way back, so that'll actually provide a, a large amount of resistance to twisting, and then the hole for the retainer washer is already drilled in there, so what we can do then is this, this washer it really doesn't need to provide any resistance to twisting, it's just uh, there to ensure that if your bolts come loose, your pegs come off, for whatever reason, if you didn't tighten them down, uh, that the axle's not going to go anywhere, it's not going to go flying off the front of the trike, because um, that's not going to be good if that happens. So uh, that means we're having to redesign the uh, brake caliper mount, because the offset on these um, is just a little bit different. The way that they're actually welded onto the fork is a little bit different. So what I've been working on today is uh, making a new dropout doubler back on the back and then uh, hopefully be able to reuse the same brake caliper mount. We shall see. We will have the first one of these um, up and running with this new fork and hopefully with the wiring through the frame in the next couple days. So stay tuned and uh, just can't wait to get these things finished. See you guys later.